Welcome back. In this video, we'll learn how to install WAMP server and Sublime Text 3 into your system. Now this WAMP server is actually where we'll be uh, hosting all our sites, all the locally made uh, sites or whatever, and it will also help us to maintain our SQL database. So let's start off. So first of all, as you saw, we just type WAMP 64-bit, or rather you can also type just to WAMP in Google. You'll get this link. Sorry. Just follow this link. Here you have the option to download 64 bit as well as 32 bit uh, installation software. So, as because my system is 64 bit, I would obviously click 64 bit. You go to download directly. You click on this download WAMP server x64.exe which is a 431.7 MB file. Now as because this file is already installed in my system so I won't download it again but when you click on it you'll see the uh, download would begin automatically. So I'll just cancel it because I have it installed as I already told. For some of you after you install there might be an error popping up which will ask you for a few DLL files or some uh, redistributable visual C++ files. Now just in case you do not have that in your system, it will ask for that. So as you saw what I did, just go back um, go back to this website into the downloads section click on this. You see this particular link http www.microsoft.com in US download. So just click on this link and it will redirect you to this website. So what you'll do is just click this download button and it will download all the and yeah you can select 64 bit or whatever as per your requirement of the system. Vam 64exe just double click to run it. English accept the agreement next 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 install. Um, the setup will take a little time to install so you can just hold on and meanwhile what we will do is we will just go to this sublime text sorry sublime text 3 click on this download option i have a 64 bit system i'll click on windows 64 okay just 8.5 mb although i have it let's just save it yes so we have the sublime text setup i can just delete these two never mind so i have my sublime text setup where it's gone yeah just to double click it click on next we want the default location click on next click on next and just install it it won't take much time click on finish now let us check if sublime text was installed and check yeah there you go sublime text 3 just open it so it's working so i can just ex or rather exit so we see that sublime text is now working now just for your simplicity you can always create a shortcut to your desk sublime text in your de desktop so what we do is just open the file location and send it to desktop so we have a shortcut in our desktop now so you can clearly see it over here yeah the sublime text is installed and is running well and good now even uh, vamp server 64 it's about to finish installation so let's just wait for some time yeah I don't want to use iExplore, rather I will use Mozilla or maybe Chrome, whatever. You can also choose Internet Explorer if you are okay working with it and you can also choose Chrome, rather. I would say you can choose any browser that you feel comfortable with. Um, it will be used as a text editor. Okay, let's just select it. Notepad.exe, it's fine, no problems. Okay, <laughs> please read the, okay, never mind. So yeah, after installing WAMP Server 3, the default username is root. You might keep a note of this one because uh, you'll be requiring this every time that you start your PHP MyAdmin. Other than this, yeah, and yes, there is no password, so you can always leave the password field blank that I'll be showing you. Nothing else, no, nothing else, just finish it. Let's refresh our system once and start WAMP Server. The status as of now is red. Uh, probably it's starting up yeah now it's turned to orange one of the services is running and now it's green 
This green inst indicates that your WAN server has successfully started up and you are ready to use localhost PHP MyAdmin. Now, in some of your systems, it might show up an error asking you to put the uh, few DLL files. Now, what you can do is uh, one of the DLL files is probably msvcr 110.dll. Yeah, so you can just Google it out and fix the. Uh, you can download the DLL files and just move it to the system path. Nothing else. You can always fix it up. But there was no error in my system, so I'll just show you how to start off with localhost PHP MyAdmin. So I open up Google Chrome. I'll type in. Yeah. So this is a, a screen that we'll see right in front of you. The username is root and the password will be blank. Just click on go. So there you go. This is your starting PHP MyAdmin where you can see all your databases. If you have, when you'll be creating the databases, you can see all of them over here and you can perform all your SQL operations, etc. So that is all for this video. Thank you.